Hello, my dear students in fourth primary, how are you? We saw in the last lessons how it is possible to multiply a one digit number by any whole number up to four digits in different ways. And we use strategies, استخدمنا strategies كتيرة قوي, زي the standard algorithm, the area model, and the partial products algorithm. But how can you multiply a two digit number? Shall our knowledge of the place value of numbers help us? يا ترى ال place value هيساعدنا؟ We will study this today in lesson 6 of unit 7, two digit multiplication, and we will learn the patterns of multiplying two multiples of 10, which will help us to multiply a two digit number by multiples of 10 and assess the reasonableness of our answers. نتأكد إن الأنسر بتاعنا صح by using the estimation and mental math. And now, let's start our lesson with access mental math on page 280 in your school book. Let's see it all together. Okay, here in page 280 in your school book, we are required مطلوب مننا to read the two problems and use mental math strategies to choose the reasonable answer for each problem and explain your reason. Now, let's start with problem number one. Here's problem number one, as you see. Type problem number one is asking me is 56 times four closer to 200 well a closer to 2000 okay 56 times four closer to which number of these two numbers when i asked one of my students he said that in 56 times four means that four repeated 56 times right times yani repeated so and that in order to know the answer mentally لو عايزه اعرف الانسر mentally in a very quick and without paper and pen, ومن غير ما استخدم paper and pen, we will consider تعالوا نعتبر أكني بعمل four repeated hundred times. If I make four times hundred times, sorry, four repeated hundred times, gives me what? Yes, four times one hundred equals four hundred. Type as you see here, the one hundred greater than fifty six. And when I make four times hundred, gives me four hundred. If a four hundred closer to what? Two hundred, well, two thousand. Of course, 400 is closer to 200. So when four is repeated 56 times, as the problem says, it will be closer also to 200. In the same way, he solved problem number two. This is problem number two. Type problem number two, Bis Almi, is 156 times four, closer to 500, well, closer to 5,000. Okay, the student considered that the problem is 200 times 4. How I mean, 200 times 4. How 200 times 4 equals what? 200 times 4 equals 800. Type 800 closer to 500, well, closer to 5000. Of course, 800 is closer to 500. So if 4 repeated 156 times only, so it will be closer also to 500. Of course, the method that the student used, the method that the student استخدمها عشان يحل these two problems, helped him to reach the correct answer easily. But what helped him? اللي ساعدوا إن there's big difference between the two choices. Okay. Type. And now, after we have solved the problems using the mental math, let's watch this video and see how the students were able to calculate the number of cars passing in front of their school during one school day using mental math and estimation. That's correct. But 96 is a horrible number to multiply. I'm going to round 96 to 100. Multiply and adjust. And now multiply 100 by 6 to get 600. We added 4 on to make 100, so we need to take 6 lots of 4 off. That means we have to subtract 6 lots of 4 from 600. We need to subtract 24. 600 subtract 20 is 580. Then take 4 from 580. That's 576. Can you work out how many vans pass the school in a school day? We have 5 hours of lessons in a day. So that means we have to multiply 576 by 5. Why don't you multiply 576 by 10? 5 is half of 10, so we just half the answer, 
to 576 times 10. Let's add 2,500, 350, and 30. That's 2,880. Why don't you make a good estimate based on math? How many cars will pass your school today? And now we saw in the video how the knowledge of estimation and the use of mental math strategies help the students to easily calculate عشان يحسب بسرعة large numbers of cars. Let's also work like them. تعالوا بقى نعمل زيه بالضبط. I will give you two problems and I will give you the time to solve them using the mental math strategies without using paper and pen. محدش أبدا يستخدم ولا paper ولا pen. I want it in mental math. Okay, let's write the two problems all together. Here, the, the first problem, I have 32 times 3. 32 times 3 equals what? Okay, I have another problem, which is 232 times 3. Okay, now, please start to think for a solution of these two problems. And now after we have finished, let's solve problem number one all together. طيب ممكن حد يقول لي that he can solve it by decomposing 32 into 30 and 2. تعال نشوفها كده. ممكن نعمل decompose the 32, 30 plus 2. Then what should I do? Yes, and multiply 30 times 3 with 2 times 3. يعني هعمل 30 times 3 with 2 times 3. Okay, 30 times 3. Plus two times three. Okay, thirty times three equals what? Thirty times three equals ninety. Plus two times three equals what? Six. So ninety plus six equals ninety-six, and this is the answer. Tell us about problem number two. We can solve problem number two by decomposing and distributing, then add the products. Okay, you have two hundred times three with 30 plus, uh, times 3, with 2 times 3. Okay, can you bamil kida? 200 times 3 plus 30 times 3 plus 2 times 3. Munkan hadi hilaha bittari adi. Munkan hilaha bittari asra bittir min this way. Okay, type. I want you, do you notice that in problem number 1, here I have 32 times 3. And here I have 232 times 3. Okay, so what should I do? Mumkin amil e, mish 2d 200. Mumkin amil 200 times 3 plus il answer beta il first problem il hoa 96. So here I have 600 plus 96 equals 696. Okay? Type. Now let's benefit from all the information. Taliban is the information we have reviewed and see and build on pages 280 and 281. How can we multiply two multiples of 10 together? Let's see. Okay. Here in the last lessons, we learned the patterns of multiplying any digit by multiples of 10. For example, 30 times 5. 30 times 5, you'll multiply 3 times 5 equals 15. As you see here, 30 times 5, 3 times 5, 15, and then put the 0 in the 1's place. Type the outcome will be what? The outcome or the answer will be 150. Great. What do you think is the outcome of 30 times 50? Now, I'm at the 30 times 50. Il answer bitai. Most students said that he would use the same way and write 0 in the 1's place, then multiply. 3 times 0 with 3 times 5. تعالوا نعملها. يبقى حد قال لي إنه ممكن يعمل 0 هنا. وهيعمل 3 times 0. 3 times 0 gives me 0. With 3 times 5 gives me 15. Okay? So the answer will be 1,500. Let's solve problem number 2. Problem number 2, number 2 بتقول لي إيه? 2 times 80 equals what? Equals 160. So, what is the answer of 20 times 80? لما عمل 20 times 80, the answer will be what? Yes, we will write the zero in the ones place. 
I will write 0 here in the ones place. Then what should I do? I will multiply 2 times 0 gives me 0. And then 2 times 8 gives me 16. So the answer is 1,600. Now we have 30 times 5 equals 150. We can make 30 times 50 equals 1,500 as you can see it. Also, we have 80 times 2 equals 160, with 20 times 80 equals 1,600. So, do you notice anything? Please have a look at the difference between problem number 1 and problem number 2. The answer of the first problem is 150, and the second one is 1,500. The difference between these two problems is that if 5 has 1 more 0, here 150, here 1,500. The difference in here is 5, here is 50. If 5 has 1 more 0. Which means that, what does that mean? That means that the 5 repeated 10 times. So the answer will also be repeated 10 times. So the answer will be 1,500. Type the next problem, 70 times 70. Let's see this together. Here I have 70 times 70. Okay? Type, please solve it and we will review the answers all together after we have finished. Now let's review the answer. We have here 70 times 70. We will write zero in the ones place. Tell me to put zero in the ones place. Then what should I do? Of course, I will multiply seven times zero, then seven times seven. Tell me to seven times zero equals seven. Seven times seven equals forty-nine, right? So the answer is four thousand nine hundred. If we compare it with the previous problem and use what we have, what we noticed, we would say that e. In 70 times 7, the answer is 490. While 70 times 70, the answer is 4,900. That means in the 7 repeated 10 times, so the answer also repeated 10 times. Now I want you to notice the answers or the outcomes of the first two problems and the outcome you got from this problem. You have certainly noticed the pattern, which is that the answer always contains at least two zeros. The answer and at least two zeros. Type them on e. We write the zeros starting from the ones place and after we multiply the numbers. Okay? I think knowing the pattern of multiplying two multiples of 10 will make it very easy for us to solve the rest of the problems. And if you want to calculate 50 times 50, here I have 50 times 60. What will be the outcome? Answer here by Yes, we will write the two zeros starting from the ones place. Yani an hektib hina, two zeros starting from the ones place. As we have learned, then we multiply in numbers together. Layer five times six. Yib an hatit two zeros dole out. Okay, and I'll multiply the two numbers. Layer five times six. Five times six gives me what? Yes, thirty. To get an outcome of 3,000, see, we have the answer with ti equals 3,000. Please note that when writing the patterns for multiplying two multiples of 10, the products of multiplying the number can have zero. زي ما احنا شايفين كده مش احنا لما عملنا five times six تلعة 30 يعني بقى فيه كمان zero. Okay? Type the product or the answer of five times six has also zero, as I said. That's why we should always دايما ناخد بالنا من the number of zeros اللي احنا بنستخدمها أو اللي احنا بنعملها في الانسر. Now we can complete the rest of the problems in a very easy way and very quickly. Let's solve 90 times 70. 90 times 70, I will write the two zeros out. These two zeros, I'll put them here. Then I will multiply the two numbers together. Here 9 times 7 equals what? Equals 63. So the answer is 6,300. Now let's move to 40 times 40. We will write the two zeros out. If a two zeros dual, I'll put them like this, starting from the ones place. Then I will multiply the two numbers together. 
4 times 4 gives me 16, so the answer will be 1,600. Tahalo ba, let's move to the last one, 60 times 30. Again, I will write the two zeros out. I'll put the two zeros here, then I will multiply the two numbers together. Here, yeah, 6 times 3 equals what? Of course, 18. So, the answer will be 1,800. Well, let's use our knowledge of all these strategies and patterns to see how shall we multiply a two-digit number by a multiple of 10. ممكن نستخدم estimation to assess your answer عشان نتأكد ان احنا عاملين فعلا الانسر صح. Let's have a look on the problem on page 281 on this page in your school book. Here a group of 38 people want to travel by bus. Okay? Each bus ticket costs 3 LE. Type the question A. How much do they need to pay in all? محتاجين يدفعوا كام in all? Let's use the area model. تعالوا بقى نستخدم في الحل بتاعنا ال area model. أول حاجة هعملها إيه؟ I will draw a rectangle like this. فاكرين ال area model? I will draw a rectangle and split it into, I will divide it into two parts. I will write 30 in one part and 8 in the other part. مش أنا عندي 38. طيب يبقى first أنا هعمل 38 times 30. Right? يبقى 38. I will decompose it into 30 here and 8. 30 plus 8 gives me 38. وبعدين هعمل إيه؟ I'll put the 30 here. Okay? طيب يبقى now I have 30 times 30 و 8 times 30. تعال نعملها كده. 30 times 30 plus 8 times 30. Okay. Now, 30 times 30 gives me what? Yes, زي ما كنا بنعمل بالضبط the same steps. I'll put the two zeros out and 3 times 3 gives me 9 equals 900. وبعدين هعمل إيه? Yes, هعمل 8 times 30. I'll put the zero out. Then 8 times 3 equals what? 8 times 3 equals 24. Then I will add these two numbers. يعني أنا محتاجة دلوقتي أعمل 900 plus 240. So 900 plus 240 gives me what? Gives me 1140. And this is my answer. So the price of all the tickets is 1140 LE. And now on page 282, Let's see it. Page 282 in your school book, we will solve some problems together and I will leave the rest for you to solve it. We will use any strategy. هنستخدم أي strategy we prefer from those in the school book. Whether it is area model, ممكن نستخدم area model strategy, the standard algorithm, or the partial products algorithm. تعالوا نحلها مع بعض on the board. Okay, in problem number one, for example, I will solve it using the standard algorithm strategy. Type, you want me to multiply 40 times 62. Can we 40 times 62 equals what? Type, first I will write the zero in the ones place. I'll put the zero in the ones place. But then how many? e? many? Four times two. Okay, four times two gives me what? Gives me 8. Right? After that, we will multiply 4 times 6. Badin hamil 4 times 6. Here, 4 times 6 equals what? Equals 24. So, my answer is, as you see here, 2480. Now, let's solve problem number 2. Problem number 2, ba, this time I will solve it using the partial products algorithm. Type. You want me to multiply 70 times 55. Time نكتبها مع بعض. 70 times 55. فاكرين the partial products algorithm? Okay, I will break down the uh, 55 into 50 plus 5. Then what should I do? I will multiply 5 times 70 plus 50 times 70. يعني هعمل مرة 5 times 70. Plus 50 times 70. Okay, then what should I do? 
Let's apply what we have learned in today's lesson about the patterns of multiplying by multiples of 10. So, 5 times 70 equals what? Yes, 5 times 70, I'll put the 0, and then 5 times 7 equals 35. So, it will be 350. Okay, plus 50 times 70 equals what? Of course, I'll put the two zeros here, then multiply the numbers. So, 5 times 7 equals 35. The answer is 3,500. Then what should I do? Yes, I will add the two numbers, right? So, the answer will be 3,850. And this is my final answer. I want you now to solve the rest of the problems and use the three strategies in the solution. And don't forget to use the estimation. Let's understand the estimation if you are not sure of the answer of any problem. After we have learned about the patterns of multiplying two multiples of 10 in the past activities, I want you to analyze a student's work in Connect, page 283. Turn Amil in the school book. And now let's analyze a student's work in Connect part and see if his answer is reasonable or not. Okay, and now I will give you time to think about the solution and please start solving now. I'm sure you have definitely noticed that when analyzing the solution that the student wrote that zero when multiplying 20 times 50 and he forgot the zero of the basic product of 2 times 5. The question is 22 times 50 equals what? 20 plus 2 times 50. 20 times 50 plus 2 times 50. لما جي يعمل 20 times 50 he just put these two zeros ونسي يعمل 2 times 5 equals 10 نسي يعمل الزيرو بتاعت ال 10 and that's why the answer was wrong the solution is supposed to be طب ايه الصح بتاع السوليوشن ده ان هو كان المفروض يعمل 20 times 50 plus 2 times 50 then 20 times 50, he should put the two zeros with 2 times 5 equals 10, okay? So 1,000 plus 2 times 50 gives me 100. So the right answer is 1,100. Okay, now let's move to the practice part on page 283. We have six problems in the practice part, as you can see here. We have solved a lot of similar problems in the previous activities throughout the lesson. So you can solve problem two and six and you would complete the rest. Okay, let's start with problem number two in the practice part. We will solve them using this, the area model strategy or the partial products algorithm. Type, I will solve problem number two using هستخدم في الحل بتاع problem number two the partial products algorithm. Type, the problem says that 20 times 54 equals what? أول حاجة هعملها I will decompose 54 ل 50 plus 4. تعالوا كده نعمل 54 ممكن أعملها I will decompose it into 50 plus 4. وبعدين هعمل إيه؟ Yes, I will multiply 4 times 20 plus 50 times 20. تعالوا نكتبها مع بعض. أول حاجة هعملها 4 times 20 plus 50 times 20. Okay, then what should I do? I will solve each part first. 4 times 20 gives me what? Of course, I'll put the 0 out. Then eight, 4 times 2 equals 8 plus 50 times 20. By the same way, I'll put these two zeros here. Then 5 times 2 equals what? Equals 10. Don't forget to put the 0 of the 10. Then I will add the two numbers. Here 80 plus 1000 equals what? 80 plus 1000 equals 1000 and 
80 and this is my answer. Okay, and now let's move to problem number six. Problem number six, but I will solve it in a different way, which is the area model strategy. If I create an area model strategy, yes, I must draw my rectangle. Tell me the rectangle of the area model strategy. Then, after I do draw the rectangle, what should I do? Yes, I will divide it into two parts, right? Okay, 78, it will be 70 plus 8. So, I will write here. 70 plus 8 and the width will be 30. Then what should I do? Yes, 70 times 30 equals what? But in 8 times 30 equals what? Type by the same way. Here 70 times 30 equals what? I will put the two zeros out. Then I will multiply the two numbers. 7 times uh, 3 equals 21. <coughs> then I will make 8 times 30. So the answer is what? I will put the 0 here, then multiply 8 times 3. 8 times 3 equals what? Of course, 8 times 3 equals 24. So what should I do then? Yes, I will add the two numbers. So I will add 2100 plus 240. The answer will be what? The answer, of course, will be 2,500, sorry, 2,340. And this is the final answer. And now, after we have finished, and in order to enhance our skills, and solve more on what we have learned in our lesson today, you can move to the digital version on the Egyptian Knowledge Bank, through the code shown on the screen. Thank you so much for your watching and see you next lesson.